Israel has great street food and today I will be joining a food tour in Machne Yehuda Market. The guide is Chen Koren and she is a very well-known guide here at the market. The tour is for Israelis so you will be hearing a lot of Hebrew but I will of course be adding comments in English as well as English um, translation. So if you want to know how a dish is written click the subtitles button. For Israelis my age and older, the first thing that pops into our head when we think about markets is cheap and good quality fruits and vegetables. But the markets have changed and today you will find more boutique shops and places to eat. Our first stop represents the old market. In this bakery, Sion, who has worked here for 50 years, makes Ashtanur. That's the name of this pita bread that he sticks to the inside wall of the oven before taking it out just before it falls off and into the fire. Here you won't find bio-spelled bread that's gluten-free with omega-3 as a topping. Here they keep it simple. White flour, water and fire. We ate it with olive oil and za'atar, which is called hisop in English. Let's head to our next stop, Hachachapuria. Chapuri is a Georgian dish that is basically a cheese-filled bread. It was brought to Israel by the Georgian Jews and today it is popular in Israel. They make a different type of chachapuri in each area in Georgia and here they make five different kinds. And after enjoying some dough, let's go and eat some more dough. Chachapuri is fairly new in Israel. Malawach is much older. We are now heading to Jachnun Bar. Jachnun is a Yemenite Jewish pastry, but we are going to eat Malawach. Now, the people that work here, how can I put it nicely? It's like they forgot to take their medicine or took too much of it. For some people it is too much, but I just love their energy. They make great malawa, which consists of thin layers of pastry brushed with oil or fat. Malawa may be junk food, but served up with tomato sauce or labane or china fresh vegetables, eggplant, onion, and egg. It makes for a great junk food that you have to try. Not far from here, you will find Mizrahi's shop. As I said at the beginning, the market is changing. Some like it and some don't. Some shops die out and some new ones come in but some manage to adopt to the changes. Mizrahi makes and sells pizzuchim, 
which is a mixture of nuts and seeds, usually salty. It's a very casual Israeli snack. He is taking it to the next level and started bringing in a higher quality of product and making special blends. If you come to the market, you will find that many of the things here can be bought as souvenirs or presents to take home with you. And I will be adding something about that at the end of the video. One of the best known shops in the market is Basher. As you can see, they sell cheese. I will say that although Israel isn't known for its cheeses, sometimes having no tradition of something makes for a good opportunity to try different things and be open to unfamiliar tastes. Here they have more than 1,000 different sorts of cheese. Some are local, but the majority are imported. We tasted cheeses from Holland, Switzerland, and England. Here we are going to eat some cheese from all over the world. I know that lots of you think that cheese is only made in Wisconsin, but they also make cheese in other parts of the world. You know I had to say it. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, this is a food tour, but where are all the Israeli dishes like hummus, shawarma, falafel? Well, that's what you can find everywhere in Israel. And of course, some hummus places are better than others. But when Israelis want to try something different, and as I said, this is a tour aimed to Israelis, then we don't eat um, falafel. One part of the market is called the Rocky Market, and over here you can see the locals who come here to buy their fruits and vegetables. There are no actual shops here. Next to the Iraqi market, you will find Azura, which is the market's most famous restaurant. Here you can sit down to enjoy dishes that have been cooked for a long time over a small fire. This is a slow food restaurant, but not in the trendy modern sense. Rather, the food is cooked the way grandma used to cook it. The slow cooking is done over a ptiliot. That's the name of the sort of oven in Hebrew. It was very common in the 40s and 50s all over Israel. I don't know how to say tiriot in English. If you know, please let me know in the comments below. As you are sitting and eating, you can look out over the parliament. Parliament in Hebrew has two meanings. One, you know, the government. And in Israel, it also means retired men, only men who meet in the morning every day or once a week and talk about politics or play cards and sheshbesh. After eating so much um, salty things, and you know salt is not healthy for you, you need to balance it with a lot of sugar. And we are now going um, to Marzipan, which is a very known bakery for rogalach. In a second, you will see how good it tastes. Rogalach is a rolled pastry filled with chocolate. The name comes from Yiddish, and it was eaten by Jewish communities in Poland. Here, they pour sugar water or syrup on top, so it is extra sweet. The bakery is called Marzipan because they used to make Marzipan here, but most Israelis, me included, don't like Marzipan, so they adopted to modern Israeli, Israeli-American taste. 
I always recommend joining a tour and I will leave hence contact information below for private tours in English. I will be adding some of these tops and my recommendation, my hummus recommendation to my Jerusalem app. So do get the app now. All the links will be below. If you want to test some of the food we've tried at the market or maybe send it to someone as a gift, you can either come here yourself or have the products sent to you. Hen has a shop and they send boxes of food from the market all over the world. I will leave a link um, to their website. I just want to say that I have no commercial connection um, to them and this is not a sponsored video, but I will say something that is important personally to me. I don't like getting presents. Just because you think something is nice, do I need to have it in my house? No, I don't like gifts, I don't like presents. The only presents I like to receive are things that I can eat. I was there today in the morning and asked them what they have inside. We have three basic boxes that are three different price points. So this is the um, stars, the gems of the Makhani market. So we have like all the classics. What's in there? So we have Trina, um, fresh granola from the shook, um, rosemary chili almond mix, abadi crackers, of course. Mm -hmm. um, this is miyasi, which is a delicious peanut snack. Uh, jam, sometimes honey. If it's America, we can send honey as well. Zatar with a recipe card so that you know what to do with it if you've ever heard of it before. Um, mixed berry fruit leather. Pistachio halva and olives, which are vacuum sealed, so they can go abroad. So that's like the the classics, the basic and the um, okay. most affordable box. Now show me the mega super box. The super box. Probably not. The, yeah, this is what most of the things. Um, we have, again, the fruit leather, dried pineapple. We have two kinds of halva, black sesame and pistachio. We have a locally made soap. This one is coffee and rosemary. Local olive oil, handmade marzipan. Again, we have a nut blend, dates, the miyasi because it's addictive, so it needs to go in every box. Okay. <laughs> and then we have um, um, toffee caramel spread and biscotti, and you can spread it on a biscotti, and it's just amazing. Um, a pecan candy bar, a different kind of jam, a unique tea infusion, and maple almond butter. Cool, thank you. Um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, subscribe and give this video a like. See you next week, yalla bye. I don't know this guy, but I've seen him a lot recently and I like his voice. So if you come to the market, give him a listen and maybe throw some change into his basket. I'm 
לא מפחיד לתוך אותו דבר אני אומר לך, לוחש לך ושם שוב אותו ניגור שבת ללב את לא תדעי עוד חורף שוב אותו סיפור שלך אני נותן לך נשיקה בעורף אני קורא לך, לוחש לך לא מפחיד לי תוך אותו דבר אני אומר לך, אומר לך בשם זה כל כך יפה לך, לוחש לך לא מפחיד לי תוך אותו דבר אני אומר לך, אומר לך בשם